when you think about the big chronic diseases, yeah. cardiovascular disease, cancer, uh, dementing diseases, and metabolic diseases, right? Yeah. Those would be the big four. I've often maintained that the that the least inevitable of them is ironically the one that is the most deadly today, which is cardiovascular disease. Yeah, I, I agree. The atherosclerotic that. diseases, so cerebro and, and, and cardiovascular, um, ironically, the most preventable. Yeah, I think Both so too. because we have the best understanding of what causes them, and we couple that with the most tools to prevent them, whether it be uh, tools to combat hypertension, dyslipidemia, et cetera. And they're responsible to, uh, responsive to, to lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Which of those major diseases of the other three, dementing, cancer, metabolic, do you believe is the most inevitable to our species? I wouldn't put uh, metabolic in that category for yep. sure, because I see that more like cardiovascular. I, I agree. Yeah. So of the other two, cancer and dementing or neurodegenerative diseases, which one is just seemingly inevitable? We don't know enough about dementia to answer, but I will say that cancer is a little bit different than these other diseases, I think, and it may be less modifiable by uh, longevity interventions. Dementia, we, we just don't know. My guess is it's highly modifiable too, but uh, there's not enough data to be sure of that like there is for metabolic and cardiovascular disease. But cancer is an accumulation of mutations, so it's a, a more defined event that's happening. It's also a impact on the immune system that's different a little bit than normal aging. So it may be less um, approachable from a longevity viewpoint. It, yeah, it's funny. That's exactly my view uh, that cancer is the most inevitable of these diseases. Yeah. Do you think that the inevitability or the age-related component stems more from the accumulation of mutations or the weakening of the immune system? 